I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. Good morning. Good morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, ready to rag rye. The Hoyts have been wonderful hosts. They are so sweet and so kind. That's what rag rye is all about. People just open up their homes and their hearts and they love meeting people. And you know, this town might not see rag rye again for another 10 to 15 years. So this is their one chance to show off. And uh, it's always the people that make this event so special. Thank you so much. I really Thank appreciate it. Thank you guys it. for being here. Yeah. Absolutely. It is another beautiful morning here in Rag Rye World. The sun is up. There's no clouds in the sky. We're riding with our new buddy Kevin. And you know what? It's going to be another beautiful day. just my new life you know I wake up in the morning I go biking with 29,000 new friends go for about 20 miles eat some delicious breakfast delights and yeah keep biking until it's time for ice cream It's a good thing that this is not smell-o-vision because we're riding past a hog farm right now. Is this the pool to swim in? All right. This is one of my favorite things about Rag Rye. People just open up their homes. They were like, we have a backyard pool. You should come swim in our pool. So here we are. Hello. Hey. Hey. What's up, Rag Rye? Hey. They offered me a beer. I said, no. She said, how about a pop? I said, sure. She brought me a Mountain Dew. I have not had one of these in probably 15 years. So watch out, Allie. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you. So you got letter. Time to ride with a wet chamois. My favorite thing in the world. I think I might throw up. I've eaten seven pancakes today and a Mountain Dew. <laughs> Not the optimal diet, but I'm at the top of the hill now. Hello! Rolling through these towns are a lot of fun because everybody comes out and sits on their porch like we're some sort of parade or something. They wave and the kids hand out bottles of water. There is a lot of goodness and kindness in this state. Well, with everyone passing through Boone, Iowa, we wanted to realize this is a nice community to be in, and uh, we wanted to stop and enjoy some Iowa sweet corn. You ready for some real food straight from the earth? Corn. Iowa's bounty. Thanks for the corn, guys. This is awesome. Would you like the plate now? Mm. I like the butter. Mm, butter. Sweet. Yep. Thanks, bud. Would you like the plate, sir? No, I'm good. Appreciate it. Are you filming? I'm filming. Where? Do you have a YouTube channel? I got a YouTube channel. You do? The kids in Iowa have been very well behaved. I gotta say, the, whoever is raising these children in the whole state of Iowa, you're doing a great job. I got some new subscribers out of those kids and some corn. It's a beautiful day. And it's really important to eat some good food when you, all you eat all day is ice cream and pie and pancakes and sweet stuff. We were just told that they have a pig. Hi. Oh, look at that. Pigs like corn too. I'm being chased by a pig. Look at this guy. He thinks I have food. I don't have food, bud. This pig wants to be a YouTube star, for sure. Yeah. USA, USA. A lot of people here try to avoid the rumble strips. 
I like to hit them on purpose. Uh, it's like a free massage. <laughs> so we just saw this bus. It says Shulton for Congress. We got to meet the guy. This is really him. He's very tall. <laughs> Let's uh, talk about love. <laughs> so in a good segue, actually, because uh, our motto is standing tall for all. And so I, I happen to be 6'6", but it goes beyond that. It goes uh, just equality and treating everybody with respect and, and love, basically. And, and uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, my, I used to play professional baseball, and I always like to say it doesn't matter where my, my shortstop came from, Delaware or the, uh, Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic or Texas. And I didn't care who my left fielder voted for. We all work together for that common goal, and that's what's missing in politics, and that's why I'm running for Congress right here in Iowa's 4th District. I don't care who people love or anything like that. Like I just, I just want us all to come together. Iowa's known for our strong communities where, where we really work with each other and uh, if, if your neighbor is stuck in the <laughs> in snow uh, in the ditch, you help them out. And it doesn't matter if they're Republican, Democrat, Independent, whatever. And so that's the Iowa I know and I, I grew up on and that's the Iowa I'm trying to make sure it, it thrives. My neighbor, wonderful neighbor, uh, but we're politically on the opposite ends of the spectrum. But we find our commonality and we'll go down some rabbit holes, but then we always find a way to get back. and. And uh, it's it's pretty special. Uh, we have a pretty great relationship, and uh, in, in, I'm this close of getting him to vote for me. <laughs> Rigby has been so wonderful to Iowa, and and uh, when you talk to the people who co consistently come back, the thing they keep on mentioning it's it's the people, and that's exactly right. I just had my high school 20th reunion, and Iowa produces amazing people. But the problem is we don't always get them to stay here. And so that's one of the things I'm working on, trying to create an economy that can absorb our high school graduates. We are rolling into Ames, Iowa right now, home of the Iowa State Cyclones. High five, coming in hot, yeah! Yeah! for this all day. I thought it was a rumor, a myth, but we actually get to ride into the stadium! We met a nice lady yesterday named Julie who's been following our trip on YouTube and she lives in Ames, and she invited us to stay at her house, so that's where we're headed right now. Is this Julie's house? It is. It is Julie's house. All right, house. cool. Just wander in. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? Good to see you I'm again. Glad to see yeah, absolutely. We're psyched to be here. Thank you. We've been in your house for minutes and we already have ice cream and all sorts of other goodies. And look, Mom, I am eating some vegetables, not just ice cream. And look, a cucumber. Look at that. Julie, you're the best in the whole world. I'm the best in the whole world. You are. Gosh, she just made my day. Hey. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Julie is not only letting us shower and camp in her yard and wash our clothes, but she's making us dinner. That is that is extra deluxe. It's just good to have you guys here. Oh, uh, we're so I'm excited really, to be I'm here. Really this glad is amazing. We ran into you. This is good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> He's a Hawkeye through. You're a through. Hawkeye? Yeah, I am. Well, it's kind of just overall what it means is you should always be willing to put lotion on your other person's feet when they hurt. Yeah. <laughs> my feet are my ugly. My feet hurt. I don't want you to touch my feet because they're nasty. <laughs> Overall, it says Will you, you take care of your partner? Yeah, you yeah. take care of each other. Yeah. Yeah. Allie and I are very happy right now. <laughs> We're so clean and well-fed and comfortable. Oh and every day on Ragbri, we've made new friends. That's what's, like every night we're sitting with new people. It's you so do, great. you meet so many people on an event like this. <laughs> I'm so glad we met you. Okay. I'm so glad this is glad you came. This is a high point of a big ride already. These weirdos are up really early. <laughs> well, we're late already. We're oh, late. you're late? Okay, hurry, bye. <laughs> Let's go back to our tent. Bye. Bye, guys. We won't burn your house down. What a sweet lady. That was awesome. That bird is awesome. You hear that bird? Hold on. Good morning, can we get some pom-pom action? Yeah. 
Yeah! Good morning! High five! One, two, three, four! Look at that dance! Faster, faster, faster! Oh, that's a good one. I like that one too. We met two new friends, Dave and Tony, and they are going to share some love advice with us today. Yeah! Well, first of all, we're not a couple like it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I can say is, uh, you both got to give 100%. If you only give 50, you're leaving half of it out there. I like that. And I, to me, it's just a brutal, brutal honesty with each other. Being able to be, tell somebody, you know, what's going on. The other person needs to be able to accept it and understand that they're both coming from, you know, have a side to, to each story. So much ice cream. That really, and we learned, you know, from this family went this morning. If you have ice cream every 10 miles, you really just can't go wrong. Like you are 100% guaranteed to make it all the way through the day. All right, we're in another town. What should we eat? Peaches. Mm. Donuts on a stick. Ah. Uh, fresh lemonade. I'm making some Vietnamese sticky rice peanut balls. Yeah. I like this idea right here. All the riders signing this bright white wall. Hopefully it lasts a few years. Yeah, yeah. Good. Merry Christmas, Santa! It's Santa! <laughs> I love the police officers in Iowa. Not only are they helping out closing down the road, but they always play good music. Thank you. Bye bye. Love the Iowa police officers. Thank you. You guys rock. We got Ollie on the left side. We got Kevin on the right side. And everybody else on every side. I'm loving it. Ready? Oh my gosh, he's jumping. He's jumping for joy. Every day I hear on Rag Ride just keeps on getting better and better and better. Every day just gets better. You just wonder what's gonna happen next and something awesome happens and it's just great. We heard some live music. Then we saw this lake in the backyard of this house. And yeah, we got off our bikes. I'm about to get hit by a boat. Oh! What's up, Kevin? The problem with these awesome farm parties is that you have so much fun and you just kind of relax and like, oh wait, I still have to go 30 more miles. I found my buddy Luke who we met yesterday. What's up, Luke? How you doing? It has been a hilly end to our day, but a beautiful day. No clouds in the sky. The sun is getting low on the horizon. We got Luke on the right side. Woo! We got Allie on the left side. Woo! And we're five miles away from chilling out. There we go. Oh, you tricked me. Hello. This is the radar showing the storm that is blowing towards us. It's purple, which is one of those colors you don't really want to see in a storm. They've essentially evacuated down, down, downtown because of uh, high winds and big storm coming our way. They've provided shelters for everybody and most people are scampering around. We already had all of our stuff set up, so we're just kind of hunkering down and hoping that it's not going to be too bad. It's hard to know if all the hubbub is, you know, because there's actually some kind of real storm coming or if it's just that they have a lot of people who might not be prepared to camp out in some rain and some discomfort and wind. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to wait out and see. We can always run for shelter. We'll find out soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's already raining pretty hard, so if we, like, get all of our stuff okay. together, it's going to be a mess. 
So um, yeah. I think we're just gonna we're gonna hunker down and hopefully it doesn't hit us that hard. Okay. National Weather Service is requesting that we continue to shelter due to lightning within this cell. <laughs> it's starting to rain more.